hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be discussing a method called gustafson's method which is basically a method for calculating the dental age of a person on the basis of six criteria that is attrition periodontosis secondary dentine cementum apposition root resorption and transparency of the root all these six criteria will be discussed in this video along with a question on how we can actually use this Gustafson method to you know calculate the estimated age of a person so let's get started Gustafson studied the changes occurring in an individual teeth and succeeded in estimating the age with some accuracy the following six changes were studied for age estimation so in the year 1950 Gustafsson came up with a method for estimating the age of a person using the teeth he proposed six criteria on the changes that occurs in the teeth with age and he developed a ranking scale a ranking scale was developed by him the scale goes from 0 to 3 that is 0 1 2 and 3 and the six criteria that he used are attrition periodontosis secondary dentine cementum apposition root resorption and transparency of root now let's study these six criteria one by one first is attrition of teeth what is attrition attrition means physiological wear and tear of occlusal surfaces of the teeth due to mastication now our teeth are responsible for a number of reasons like grinding chewing tearing etc right so with time what happens is that the wear and tear of teeth starts to occur due to which attrition occurs this you can see over here is a healthy teeth whereas this is a teeth in which attrition has occurred the teeth was supposed to be till here right as you can see but due to its wear and tear it has decreased in its length right so we have four scales for attrition that is a0 a1 a2 and a3 as i said in this method the six criteria have been ranked on a scale of 0 1 2 and 3 so here we have a0 a is because we are studying the criteria of attrition so a is used a0 means there is no attrition a1 means that attrition is in the enamel area a2 means attrition has reached the dentine a3 most severe one means that attrition has reached the pulp area then the second criteria is secondary dentine secondary dentine is a layer of dentine which is produced after the tooth's root is completely formed so with age so normally we have only one dentine but with age what happens is a secondary dentine starts to get formed here you can see in this picture this is the this area is the primary dentine area but what, with age what happens is we get to see a secondary dentine area also this area here you can see this is the secondary dentine area all right so the four scales are s there's a mistake here this has to be s0 s1 s2 and s3 okay s0 means that there is no formation of secondary dentine s1 means the secondary dentine has start to begin in the pulp area s2 means pulp cavity has half filled with the secondary dentine s3 means pulp cavity cavity is full filled with secondary dentine so these are the four scales of secondary dentine criteria now let's talk about the third criteria that is periodontosis periodontosis basically is the inflammation of periodontal tissues or periodontal ligaments or gingiva with age that is leading to loosening of the teeth in the socket so basically in periodontosis the gingiva the gums or the periodontal ligaments they are getting inflamed right due to which what happens is that the teeth starts to become loosened in the socket there's no proper grip here if 
can see in this picture this is a normal tooth and this is a tooth having periodontosis here we have the this red area that you can see this is the gum area all right and here we have the healthy gums but in case of periodontosis we can see that there the uh, gum area has you know displaced from its normal position there's a gap that you can see over here this gap is due to the inflammation of gingiva or the periodontal ligament so this is what happens uh, in periodontosis um, here we have four scales p0 p1 p2 and p3 p0 means there's no periodontosis p1 means that slight loosening of teeth has started p2 means periodontosis along one third of the root has started and p3 means periodontosis along upper two third of the root has happened so basically how are we going to use this method we are going to see the teeth of the person we are going to see how much attrition has occurred has the attrition just reached the animal or has it even reached the pulp it, if it has reached the pulp to have the score of a equals to three then um, we'll look for dentine has is there any dentine formation is a secondary dentine formation no there is no if there is no then s value will be zero and later on um, we are going to calculate for um, all of these criteria we're going to calculate and then we have a formula at the end on the basis of which we are going to calculate the entire age of the person all right so coming back to the fourth um uh criteria that is the cementum apposition that is that means the deposition of cementum around the root of the tooth so c0 means that there is no deposition of cementum c1 means apposition is slightly greater than normal c2 means there is greater layer of cementum and c3 means there is very heavy layer of cementum all right then next criteria the fifth criteria is the root resorption root resorption is the progressive loss of dentine and cementum by the action of odontoclast cells so we know that there are two types of cells that is odontoblast cells and odontoclast cells odontoblast cells are responsible for the formation of tooth cells okay whereas odontoclast cells lead to degradation of the dental cells odontoclast cells are basically responsible for the resorption of the root of the deciduous teeth so root resorption basically means that there is loss of dentine and cementum here you can see in this area the root uh, in this um, radiograph over this area you can see that the root resorption has been shown so r0 means there's no root resorption r1 means only small isolated spots of resorption can be seen r3 r2 means lower one third root resorption is there and r3 means that there's greater area of root resorption then um, the last criteria is the transparency of root with age the dental tubules are filled with minerals and they start to turn opaque due to which the root starts to become a uh, slight transparent this is the most reliable criteria of the all this is zero score that is t0 score then here comes t1 score that uh, there is slight transparency then here we have t2 which means transparency is over one third of the apical root and t3 means the transparency is over two by third apical root which will also include transparency in the whole root so these are the six criteria that is uh, that are used in the gustafson's method attrition secondary dentine periodontosis cementum apposition root resorption and transparency of the root now let's see the formula that is used for calculating the age in gustafson's method so the age estimation can be done by totaling the scores total score how we are going to calculate a score plus p score plus r score plus t score plus c score plus n score that is attrition score periodontosis score root resorption score transparency of root score cementum apposition score and secondary dentine score all right these scores has to be added up and 
these this score is to be kept over here in this formula that is in the total core area so basically the formula that is used is 11.43 plus 4.56 into the total score that we will be getting from here after the proper examination of the tooth plus minus 3.63 years so let's try to find out with the help of an example if we have studied a teeth then we are going to have all these values of a and for p for r for T for C and for N will be having these values right what does the value means like um uh, in this question we have uh, the values a equals to 1 what does a equals to 1 means a equals to 1 means that attrition is in the animal so we studied the teeth and we found out that attrition has only reached the animal portion so we deduce that a equals to 1 Similarly, we have here P equals to 0. P equals to 0 means that there is no periodontosis, no inflammation, right? So accordingly, we have been given these values, but we just have the values. How can we calculate the age of the person? So we'll be doing that with the help of this formula. Remember this formula. So if these values are given, so let's find out the um, age of the person, which is going to be 11.43 plus 4.56 into the total score what will be the total score total score will be 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 right 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 right then plus minus 3.63 years so 11.43 plus 4.56 into 1, 2, 3, 4 plus minus 3.63 years. 11.43 plus 4.56 into 4 is 18.24 plus minus 3.63 years so 18.24 plus 11.43 is is equal to 29.67 plus minus 3.63 years so just deduct this 3.63 and add this 3.63 into this term to get a range so to 29.67 plus 3.63 is 33.3 years and 29.67 minus 3.63 is 26.04 years. So through this method, we have reduced that the age of the person can be between 33.3 years. Um, years. Uh -huh. Add to 26.04 years it will be between this age all right so i hope you understood how to calculate the range by this method now i have a second question for you guys find out the age of the person and let me know the age of the person in the comment section so this was all about this video i hope you found the video to be useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you